This season of Cooking Hawaiian Style is presented by Kualoa Ranch, where legends are made. Hey, what's up? You got Lanai with another edition of Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Kualoa Ranch, one of my favorite places to come and ride horse. Today, in the kitchen, my good friend from the Waianae Coast, from A&G Steaks, Alex Pellin. Let's get cooking. When you live in on the island, such a diverse Hawaii, when you taste it, all the flavors from the mountain to the sea, we're cooking Hawaiian style. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my good friend Alex Pellin. How are you, brother? Good, brother. Thank you for joining us. I've been trying to get him on the show for eight seasons. Yay, I'm here. And he, now you're finally here. Yeah. What, tell us about A&G uh, Steaks, A&G um, Bar and Grill. You well, got so many things going on. We're in Wainai, um, Wainai uh -huh. Nanakuli. Uh, we have a bar and grill in, Wai in Nanakuli uh -huh. and uh, steaks and things in Na Wainai. It's nice. Really nice, yeah. too. You guys yeah. did a good job. You've been doing this for a long time. Uh, for a while. Yeah. Remember our first wagon was yes. in um, uh, Winter Mall? Yeah. Yeah, so small little wagon, set it off, and then... And he comes from a family that can cook, too. Uh, your brothers cook. Your mom yep. was an amazing... She's still an amazing chef. Esther's restaurant. Yeah. yeah, yeah back in the day. Yeah. And I've, I've been wanting to get Alex on for a while because he's going to make uh, your mom's pinak bet. Pinak bet. Yeah, but... but Different. They're, they're different. She she uses pork. I use chicken. Okay. Let's get. What do we need? So we need the chicken. Okay. Some garlic. How much chicken do we got here? Uh, we do like half pound of chicken. Okay, half pound of chicken. I started the fire for you. You need to put some oil in here. Uh, yeah, we need some. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil for you in here. Some olive oil. How's the restaurant? When you guys open? Uh, we opened what almost two years now. Yeah. And what's the hours now? Uh, it's from ten to. 10 to 10. 10 to 10. So yeah. you open for lunch and for dinner. Lunch and dinner, yeah. Right on. Now, if the word Pellin or the last name sounds oh. familiar to you, Alex used to be a boxer. Yeah, back yeah. in the day. And who used to train you, Alex? Uh, Fred Pereira. <laughs> oh, you were, um, I already gave you 10 bucks for um, it was me. Lanai. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing yeah, boxer. Yeah, yeah. The whole family. Um, how many professional fights you had? Uh, we had, uh, I had three big ones. Three big <laughs> but what do you think of the new, you know, the fighting today and how it used to be? Uh, bef today, you Very have... Very different, right? You have um, the MMA, all, yeah. you know, it's almost like street fighting. <laughs> but um, we... Put some garlic in there? All right, um, just tell me what you need me to okay, do, okay? Garlic. Go along here. All right. Do you watch a lot of MMA? You still watch boxing? Yeah, you know, um, Ma Max Holloway's our um, yeah. featuring on him because he's our local, local right. guy. And Yancy Madero. Yancy Madero's. And we then, got a you know, lot get, of guys. From we get some where? young, young, young boys coming yeah. up. All right. So you got how much? How many cloves of garlic? So cloves of garlic, we do like a full clove. Okay. And then some ginger. All right. And then we add the um, the chicken with that. Okay. Uh, about a half pound of chicken. Half pound of chicken. Put them all in there. Okay. Put that in there. Right. And then we cut some tomatoes. What high so school you in, Alex? Why not I high? Why not? I? There you go. What year you got, Alex? So oh, easy, Tiger. <laughs> yeah. 79. <laughs> we got to get, uh, we've been trying to get uh, your classmate, cool. Ryan Carolina. Oh, yeah, well, that's my cook. classmate right there. Yeah, trying to get him to come and cook on the show. Well, all okay. right, so at the restaurant, do you make this recipe? Um, no, I do that at home. This, you, is, this is. I think you should for, put this uh, as a special or something. Uh, well, I did a couple times, but I mean, it was okay, but too much work, yeah? Yeah, now pinak bet is a Filipino dish. Yeah. And you know, for the plantation days, we were really poor, so you'd get all the vegetables from the garden. You can really use whatever vegetables right. you Any, want. Anything, yeah. but. So, how many tomatoes are you going to cut up now? Um, we're going to use uh, three tomatoes. Okay. And then we're going to do some, um, we'll cut maybe like three eggplants. Okay. And then just add everything after that. All some, right. Some fish sauce and we're good. What kind of stuff do you serve at the restaurant? Uh, we serve steak and shrimps, Hawaiian, uh -huh. Hawaiian food. We do um, pastas. Yeah. We do uh, hamburger, hamburger. Um, A little bit of everything. Everything, yeah. yeah. 
Alex and I uh, just recently, what, a year, two years ago? Went to the mainland? Yeah, no, oh. we, went to, we went further than the we mainland. We went um, <laughs> Barcelona. Yeah, we went to Spain, we went to Italy, we went to... Japan. We've been to Japan, yes. We've Together. been all over. But he doesn't travel with me anymore. Because, um, <laughs> poor now. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta pay the bills. Yeah. All right, we still got, we have plenty of time. So how many tomatoes okay. did you cut up there? Uh, that's three. Okay, we'll more. do one more. Okay. Cut this and put on Plenty of tomatoes. This, this is going to get, uh, we're going to get a lot of uh, soup in this. A lot of yeah. Yeah. So pinak bed, you can make it really soupy if you like. You can uh -huh. make it a little more on the drier side. But yours is more soupy. Soupy. Yeah. I like soupy. Okay. And you got, uh, how many brothers and sisters, Alex? Uh, brothers, I got... Eight brothers, two sisters. And they were all, and they're all boxers, by yeah. the way. Alex is the <laughs> oldest of them. Alright, when we come back, we're gonna finish up this chicken peanut bed, alright? All Don't right. go anywhere. Alex Pellin hanging out with us this week. There you go. Right here on Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Kualoa Ranch. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. This smells good, huh? Brought to you by Kualoa Ranch. What do you think of this view here, huh? Awesome, yeah, awesome, amazing. awesome. We're going to move the restaurant over here. Yeah. What are we making, Alex? Peanut bed, chicken peanut bed. Chicken peanut bed. Usually you, uh, in this dish, Filipino style, a lot of people use pork. Yeah, you but, know? you know, we, we got to change them up. Yeah. yeah, of course. You get plenty of chickens running around wild yeah. over here. So we were talking about us traveling. What do you think yeah. of Italy? Uh, Italy was expensive. <laughs> you were supposed to talk about how nice it was. <laughs> how the and food it was food. nice. The food was good, but yeah, yeah everything was like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, how many tomatoes? We got, we got three tomatoes. Are you going to put all the tomatoes in all here? All the tomatoes. Okay, let's go ahead and let's put okay. them all in okay. inside okay. of there. Okay, just let me help you a little bit. Do you cook at home a lot? Oh, yeah. When my kids want to eat this dish, I, yeah. I cook this dish for them. And they all come come home and, and grab their bowls and take a yeah. bunch home. And they take it home, huh? Yeah. So, and you don't, you got to put this at the restaurant, I think. Yeah, you know? well, you know. So I think it's important you put how many three tomatoes in here because it's gonna three, three, to, three to five. It's gonna give you that uh, consistency, the sauce, the, yeah. the, the, the sabao or the sauce, you yeah. know, because okay. it has so much water in it. But it's such an easy. This is such an easy dish to cook. I'm glad you did it with chicken. Mm -hmm. I've never done it with chicken. Well, the chicken is more healthy, yeah. Yeah, it is more healthy. Yeah. Uh, you know, as Filipinos, we get goat, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How many? Uh, Eggplant are we doing? We're doing about five to six eggplants. Okay. And we got the long eggplants. I guess the long it depends, eggplants. Depends on what size, yeah? Yeah. we throw that in right now. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Okay. Eggplants. And, and if you want to cut them in half, you can cut them in half. Too. This, yeah. But it's going to shrink yeah. down. Yeah, the thing shrink down. Yeah, so you cut a couple little earlier. We yeah. got to thank uh, Kualoa Ranch for all our fresh vegetables. Yes. So funny, we asked for a big pot and we're using the small pot. That's right. That's okay. It's all going to shrink down. And we have uh, like two bitter melons that we all use. Right. I love the, if you can get a hold of the small, Wild bitter melon. I've seen that in the... Uh, that is so good. Um, but then, of course, this is regular, you know, bitter melon. Yeah. So healthy for you. Good for uh, high blood pressure, good for, for everything, high cholesterol. We eat a lot of bitter melon. We got introduced, uh, Hawaii got introduced to, to this bitter melon from the Okinawans in Japan. Who, Back in of the course, day. live a long time, right? Uh-huh. Okay. So, so we got some okra. We got a handful of okra. All right. Are you going to take off the tops there? Yeah, we take the we take the the tips off and okay, just do them like that. Yeah. So you guys open every day at the restaurant? Every day. Full bar. Seven day, full bar. Uh huh. We have live entertainment Fridays and Saturdays. Do you really? Yes. We do. Anybody that I know? Um. Anybody? I that try we to know? call you and come by, but you never <laughs> do come. So. I always go and you're not there. Yeah. Yeah. But I see him on Facebook. He's always in. <laughs> in Japan or Europe. Waiting or for you. Waiting, yeah. waiting for you, Alex. I used to like to travel with, yeah. with Alex, but he don't travel with me anymore. Yeah. Well. All right. So how many okra did we put we in just there? A handful. Okay. And then, you know, it, it depends on if you want more more of this thing in. What did your mom always cook that you liked? Um, my, was this. Pinak bit. The pinak bit. But but she make, your mom makes adobo too, just an amazing. The chicken adobo? The chicken adobo? Yeah. My, my mom makes good adobo. She makes, I think she makes better um, it's different. shoyu chicken. Shoyu chicken? In, in, my, I think my dad makes a better. Your, your mom's adobo though, I never tasted that anyone t make it like that style. Which one? That's my dad's style. Is that your dad's style? Yeah. She got from, but oh, don't no, no. tell my mom, my mom's still <laughs> Sorry mom. <laughs> is, is, your, is your mom still at Tamura's? No, she's working with me now. Oh, she, oh, that's right. That's right. So she that's works with me. She, you know, she's retired, but you know, I, I want to keep her busy. Yeah, you keep have her to. working and keep the blood flowing. Okay, so after we put all these vegetables in here, we're gonna uh, we set them on the side and, and just let them let them simmer, cook. right? Yeah. But, what, but the main ingredient. Tell everybody what's in this. Um, right here. It's our special Filipino sauce, which is 
Oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. All right. oh, I blew man. it. Too my bad. We won't, tell, we won't tell them how much. My wife is going to get pissed now. <laughs> <laughs> we, Hi, Garland. Spill, spill the beans. Spill right. the beans. So you're just going to saute that? Yeah, just saute and it. And then at the end, we're going to put in the, the vegetables we're, and everything else. We're, we're going to put the, uh, the, the noodles, on the, no, put the, uh, the noodles on, the, on the plate. OK. And then we... And then, the, OK. When we come back, we'll finish up this okay. dish. Right it's Alex Pellin fried yeah. noodles. He, he, this is his best <laughs> moms, steak, by the way. Moms, moms. moms. It's Alex Pellin from a &G Steaks. Go visit them. Right. Or is it a &G Bar and Grill? a &G Bar and Grill, a &G Steaks and Things. Cooking Hawaiian Cheers. style here at Kualoa Ranch. All right. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Kualoa Ranch. Alex, we're just finishing up your fried noodles. Right. So you fry the noodles first by itself. First, by itself. With the shoyu, the aloha shoyu, and, and the, the uh, secret, secret sauce. sauce. <laughs> and you're going to put that on a plate, and then you're going to throw in the ingredients yes. that top it uh, after that, in the same right. pan. Right. That's the first time I've seen anybody do it that way. Really? But I guess that's why you sell so many of them, huh? Yep. So put a little bit more oil for you. A little bit more oil. Okay. You got them on high? Yep. Got them on high for you? Yep. And then what is the next dish you're going to make? I'm going to make the garlic butter shrimp. All right. This is uh, one of those dishes that really got you started yes. when you were doing the truck. The truck. And yeah. guess who gave me that recipe? Who gave you this recipe? I think he's your brother. <laughs> Adam Tabura. Adam Tabura. What's up to Adam Tabura, my brother? That was a long time ago. Was okay, I'm gonna like... I'm gonna start I'm gonna stir this for you and then okay. you can start on the next dish. Okay, start on the next dish yeah. would be you, you need I, need, this I pan. need some I need some garlic. Okay. Chop them up for okay. me. Okay, okay. And I'll just finish up this. You're gonna put green onion in this or you can just put this on the no. noodle? No, Yes, right off right after that we just um throw that on that plate. Okay. Make them cook good, yeah. Alright. You want to get them crispy, though. Crispy, tulip. crispy. You got to get the, uh, the tulips crispy. Okay. What do you like to eat when, you, when you're not at the restaurant, when you, you know, you're feeling homesick or you uh, went on a long trip and you, you, that comfort food? Uh, no tummy you... tuna sandwich. <laughs> no, one, uh, one good. Huh? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Chili and rice? Chili, rice, no. We usually go to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> no. Really? No, no. I know you cook all the time. <laughs> No, I... I, I that has to be one thing you miss. Cooking? No. Yeah. That one I cook dish. when I have to cook. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's just keep this... So this, this kind okay, of are we going to add the green onion to this, or you can no. just put them on there? You're right on there. Okay. So this is all good in. All right. Good. Top them up. Go ahead and just top them like this. Yeah, make them nice, but... Okay. Presentation, Here, I'll yeah. let you do okay. them. There you go. Don't mind get scolding, eh? Okay. Okay. We got it. All right, we're going to get this next pan going. What are you making next? Uh, I'm making the bar uh, butter garlic. Okay, how much butter do you want me to put in this pan? Uh, just put like half, half of that. Half of Not that. a half, but like a quarter first. All right, we'll do like a quarter. Well, I like plenty of butter, so it's okay. Uh -huh. But you want to put more butter later. Okay. okay this Regular is butter. Mm -hmm. And then add the garlic. This well, one, no, the, uh, the, 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 the garlic comes later. Okay. We add this to Add the shrimp right away. Add the shrimp. Okay. You, you can like add the garlic too early because the thing burned it. You don't want to burn it. We got to thank uh, Kualoa Ranch. This shrimp is from Kualoa. These guys have been doing some amazing things with their grass fed beef, uh -huh. uh, their vegetables. Um, they got oysters. Uh, and of course, the shrimp. Go ahead, I'll let you do that. Stir them up a little bit. The noodles looks good, bro. Ready for eat? Yeah. Uh -huh. Very simple. Yeah. All right, so the butter we just and gotta, shrimp. We just got to cook up the, um, the shrimp. Okay. We don't want to overcook that, right? Right. But well, you don't want to undercook it too, yeah? yeah you, so. you overcook it, it's real rubbery. Okay, yeah. Now we got about a minute left. Okay. Okay. So, let's whack this out with it. Okay. Ho! Oh. There you go. Okay. All right. Add the garlic. So you're going to add the garlic. What kind of specials do you guys do at the restaurant? We have um, our fried noodle special. Uh-huh. You can do it with uh, steak or, sh or fish. Okay. Or chicken. And what do you add in there? Um... You get one scoop of brown rice or white rice, okay. and then you have mac salad, toss, or corn. Nice. And we got some and oyster then, sauce going in yeah. this. Our secret sauce. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and flip it a couple times. Flip it for us. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to see what that looks like. We we'll also have the peanut bet, the chicken peanut bet that's simmering, all right? That was going Still for working. a good 20, 25 minutes. And we're going to plate that and see what that looks like, and we'll come back and taste. All right. All right. Alex Pellin hanging out with us at Cooking Hawaiian Style right here at Kualoa Ranch. It smells good. Welcome back. Now is my favorite part of the show where we get to eat. Alex, the uh, butter shrimp smells awesome. The chicken peanut bed. I'm going to plate this so we can taste that. You going to plate that for me? 
All right, so how long again, how long did we do this again? Just so everyone knows. Uh, that um, sits for like half an hour. Half an hour, just till the vegetables yeah, get nice and soft. Yeah, soft and get the, the sabao Look at that. going. The sabao is the soup. You want to get that soup going. This is the healthy version of pinak bed. Of course, yes. the, the uh, fish sauce or the patis, you got to have that on there. Yeah, right? no matter what. That looks good, bro. Good job. Yeah. And then the shrimp. Shrimp is very butter, simple. garlic. Mm -hmm. That's Adam Tabor's recipe. <laughs> hey, at least we're giving credit to where credit's due. <laughs> and then we got the tulip fried noodles. Tulip fried noodles. Which uh, I like the way that you did there here. I just grabbed this yeah. out of your way. Okay. Go ahead, try some. I'm going to try this here. Oh, I'm going to try the pinak bit because you know I love pinak bit. Mm. Oh, awesome. Not too salty. Mm -mm. But usually pinak bit is very salty. Yeah. I think using chicken is a big uh, plus. No. Good I job. Just add, add some shoyu in if you uh -huh. can. That's a shrimp. The shrimp is good. Well. That's the noodles. Mmm. Still that. So is good. Wow. Thank you so much for joining us, brother. All right, bro. This is my uh, my sparring partner, my boxing coach. Um, I don't know why I, I always lose all my fights, but. Right. <laughs> no. Go visit the restaurant, A and G in Waianae, and also the other one in Nanakuli. Nanakuli. A and G right. Wine Grill. We'll see you guys next time. Check out the website for all the details on the recipes, cookinghawaiianstyle.com. Until next time, ahui ho. Gotta try one of these.